Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. We're back with championship predictions. As ever, drop a like, subscribe, get your predictions down below. And I'm joined by Sophie. Hi, you right. There's quite a few goals in midweek. It was good it was good action. Yeah, do you know what? Entertaining midweek games, which is what we want, and we picked up a point. Yes. The way it kind of afraid, so. Coventry didn't lose. As ever, guys, the championship predictions for the weekend are brought to you by Betmate. Click on the link down in the description. It is a great app to get involved with. We could do fantasy football together there. I'm always involved. Sophie's always involved. They do championship games at the weekend. There's always a free pot as well, so you don't even have to pay necessarily. You can get involved. It is good fun. And like I say, compete against us. So click on the link down in the description to download Betmate. My team for the championship 3 p.m. games consists of Wes Fodringham and Basham of Sheffield United, Cooper of Millwall, Ben Sheaf and Baker in the middle with Pookie and Jokeres as captain and vice-captain. Let's get straight into the championship predictions starting with Swansea City versus Hull City. Now both sides lost in midweek coming into this one so don't know. Big opportunity for both to bounce back. Obviously they both can't win. Could it be a draw? Possibly. I won't sit on the fence straight away. I might just back Swansea. I was impressed when it was 0-0 heading into stoppage time against Sheffield United because I thought, oh, it looks like a decent I performance. I thought they were going to ride it out. Yeah, not a bad point. Yeah. And then they went and lost it. Meanwhile, Hull City, it was rather more embarrassing, losing 3-0 at home to Stoke City. Are the wheels coming off Hull City? Possibly. 2-1 to Swansea. See, I think the wheels have not fallen off at Hull City. I think it was a bit of a shock result. Because I think 3-0 at home is pretty poor. Um, I mean, strong Stoke team, so you can't really take it away from them. But again, to not even score one or kind of even look like they should score one. Again, coming up here against, in my opinion, that was a strong performance Swansea shown against Sheffield United. And I wasn't expecting it. And they were quite unlucky to not get anything from that game. But I don't see them getting anything from this. I'm going to predict a Hull 1-0 win. Hull 1-0. We're already going for a different team there. Let's get straight into the St Andrews derby. Birmingham City take on Coventry City. Both the involved in some good games in midweek. And I'm happy. Like I say, Coventry didn't lose. And there's positives and negatives. Negatives are we're still a shambles at the back. If we can keep a clean sheet at Birmingham, that'd be amazing. Because six games in, we're still without a clean sheet. I don't think we are going to keep one. Birmingham City looked very good against West Bromwich Albion. A good 3-2 <laughs> win. That's back-to-back -back wins. They're looking quite good on the road. Can they get a home win here? No, but I don't think Coventry will win. I think this could be an entertaining game where both really want to go for the win, but they might have to be forced to share the spoils. 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying about City. Watching them, we look good going forwards. Our strikers are not the issue. It's the defence. And maybe if Rose is going to be out injured, I don't want to say that's a good thing because it's not. We're lacking squad depth, but it means that Panzo will play. So that is a good thing. So I do think we're going to concede. We looked a lot stronger when he came on the pitch. So if he starts, then maybe not so many goals. But both teams for me have shown that they can score and concede. So I think there are, there are going to be a few goals in this one. But I'm going to back, back the boys to win. City, 3-2. Coventry City, 3-2? <laughs> yeah. Fair play. We that's know that's a wild prediction. I do like the confidence. Hamer's goal was terrific oh, in the week. Goal. Let's get to the next game. Burnley versus Bristol City. Now, we like Bristol City and what they're doing. They did put up a fight at Norwich, but just fell short 3-2. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Burnley still going pretty well. They got the 1-1 against Preston. Um, this is an interesting one. It's a tough week for Bristol City to go away to Norwich and then to Burnley. Yeah. They want something to show for it. I feel like they could get out of here with a draw. Mm -hmm. Burnley... Probably the favourites, but sometimes drawing like they did at Preston. So maybe Bristol City could pinch something if they're on their A game. I'll say a share of the spoils, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I think a draw is going to play out here, but I think there's going to be a couple more goals. So I'll say 2-2, two, two, two good teams going at it and a draw. Yeah, that'd be a decent game. Next up, we go to Huddersfield Town versus Cardiff. Huddersfield have sacked the manager after a terrible start. Only Coventry are below them in the table. Cardiff City, meanwhile, what a win at Middlesbrough. I didn't see that come in. I did not see that come in. It was a real hang-on in the end, though. They went 3-0 up. They were great in the first half. Then they were clinging on with Middlesbrough, creating loads of chances and got over the line 3-2. Um, with the change in manager, you could get anything. You could get mm. Huddersfield continuing to be poor, or you could get a bounce back. You could get this new manager bounce, they say. And... I don't know if they're going to completely bounce back and win against the Cardiff side, which would be in good confidence, but they might be able to get a draw. 1-1. One, one. See, I don't think I've backed Cardiff to win at all this season, and I think 
after that kind of game midweek, you've got to start putting a little bit more respect on their name. So I'm actually going to back them to win. I don't think Huddersfield are going to have that new manager bounce just yet. Um, so I think they are going to lose at home 2-1. 2-1, wow, okay, going for the Bluebirds. Next up, we go back to Kenilworth Road as Luton Town take on Blackburn Rovers now. With Blackburn Rovers, there's no grey areas. They've won five and lost four. They're in the playoffs, though. Really good start from them. I watched their performance against Watford and they were much the better side. Dom Hyam scoring goal. a scorpion goal. That was unbelievable. He did that before. A couple more mil on his name. Yeah, absolutely. Really good finish. Um, Luton Town, meanwhile, I got to see them in midweek at Kenilworth Road. First half, they were better than Coventry. Second half, I think Coventry deserved to get something out of the game. Luton Town, there just seemed to be a lack of urgency. Their defence was quite easily cut open and uh, just not very good at chasing second balls and they kind of ran, about, ran out of ideas in the second half. I think they're a good team though. I might go for Blackburn to get their first draw of the season. I'm struggling for this one. Another 2-2. Two -two. I don't know. Watching Luton, as you say, first half, they did look quite good going forwards and then we kind of shown a few weaknesses in their defence. I do think they should have had a penalty, so they mm. could argue that they should have won the game. However, it wasn't given and it was a draw. <sighs> They're coming up against a strong Blackburn team for me, who have looked pretty good recently, so I think they're going to pick up the win here. 2-1 <sighs> Blackburn. 2-1 Blackburn. Okay, next up we go down to the Den as Millwall take on Blackpool. Both coming into this on defeat. Millwall losing at home to QPR. Blackpool thrashed by Rotherham 3-0. Um, they've both been fairly good at times so far this season, but like I say, maybe a bit negative coming into this one. I think this is a platform for both sides to try and bounce back from the defeats of midweek. And with Millwall being at home, I might just edge them. I'm going to go back to my old ways. 1-0 Millwall. Your old ways? They're my old ways. Yeah, I did think that Millwall might actually lose to QPR, and they did. However, I can see them winning this one. 2-0. 2-0. Next up, we'll go down to Carrow Road as Norwich City take on the Baggies. I wonder if Steve Bruce is a ticking time bomb waiting to go off because he lost in midweek to Birmingham. Birmingham hadn't won at the Hawthorns in over 15 mm -hmm. years before that. And West Bromwich Albion are starting to linger down the bottom end of the division. Norwich, meanwhile, winning as per usual. They beat Bristol City. A hard game, but a 3-2 win. I think Norwich will get through this one as well. The Baggies are not in good form. I think they probably need a new manager. I'm going to call it Steve Bruce is not going to last much longer. Could go in the I international think said break. That from the start, though, we said Steve Steve Bruce isn't the one anymore. Two on Norwich. Three one Norwich. Yeah. I think there's going to be a few more goals. Norwich they do look strong. Did concede two against Bristol City, but Bristol City are in good form, mm. so I don't think they're going to concede too many against West Brom. But I think they will concede. So three one Norwich. 3 on Norwich. Next up to Deepdale, Preston North End take on at Sheffield United. Both sides involved in um, some decent games in midweek. Sheffield United got that late winner against Swansea City. Preston with the Lancashire Derby drawing 1-1 against Burnley. Uh, Preston going back to draws. Um, the defence isn't as watertight as it was. They're still not conceding loads though. I think this will be a low scoring affair mm. and I might just pack the blades to get out with another 1-0 win. Yeah, I'm actually going to agree with you and say 1-0 to the Blades. I did watch the Preston Burnley game and I did think they looked quite strong at the back. They did make it hard for Burnley to break them down. And it was a fairly strong game, but they're coming up against quite a strong Sheffield United mm. team. And I don't think they're going to do enough to stop them from getting the three points. So 1-0 to the Blades. 1-0 to the Blades. OK, next up, QPR versus Stoke City. Both with really impressive away wins in the week. QPR winning 2-0 at Millwall. Stoke City, as I say, 3-0 away at Hull City. Um, with the new manager, could we start to see this little spike in form from Stoke City, possibly? They'll be hoping so. QPR, meanwhile, they'll want to follow up the result against Millwall with a win. <sighs> I could make a case for both these sides winning it. I think they're both really good in midweek. I think... I think I'm just going to go for QPR as the home team. I might just back them to follow up their win with another one. I'm going to edge it though. I think it'd be close. Both teams to score. 2-1 to the R's. Oh, I'm actually going to sit on the fence with this one. I think they're going to almost like cancel each other out. But I think it could be a low scoring game. But with real quality at times. So 1-1 one, one, I think I can see playing out. But again, honestly it could go either way for me. Absolutely. Next up we go down to Vicarage Road as Watford take on Sunderland. This could be interesting. It could be a good game um, actually. Ab yeah, absolutely. Mm. I mean, one's just come up, one's just come down and 
I didn't think I'd say this at the start of the season, but 2-1 Sunderland. I'm going to back the Black Cats here. 3-0 at Reading last night. I did back them to win. Mm. I didn't back them to win that heavy. And Watford was so bad against Blackburn. That was a game I've watched, and it's kind of... They weren't on it, though. No. I don't think that's like fair to say, like, oh, they're no. not good. It was just a bad game, I think. But it's not my perspective of mm. them a little bit coming into this one. Confidence might not be too high. They need a bounce back, but I'm going to go for the Black Cats. Yeah, I'm actually going to agree with you. I wrongly didn't back Sunderland midweek and they proved to me that they're very good even away from home mm. so I'm actually going to back them to win I think it is going to be a bit of an upset because I think most people will look at this like Watford should really win this or get something I'm going to back Sunderland 1-0 Sunderland 1-0 wow you're going for it okay next up to Wigan versus Reading hmm Reading, Reading, Reading. What such a hard team. On, such a hard team to put finger on. <laughs> like when you don't expect them to do well, they climb climb up to the top of the yeah. table, and then when you think, oh, wow, they're looking good, they crash Me and burn. Them. Yeah. Meanwhile, Wigan Athletic, they did their business in the week. They won two one at Huddersfield, and I think I'm going to go with them. Although mm. with Reading, it wouldn't surprise me if they come and win here three one or something because. <laughs> You just don't know what to expect from them. So it is a banana skin in a way for Wigan. But as the home team and the team that won in midweek, I'm going to put them as the team to win this. 2-0 to the Latex. Yeah, I'm going to go 2-1. I do think they're going to win at home. But again, like you said, it's so hard predicting running because they're so inconsistent. So honestly, you just don't know. But I do think we're going to have enough to get the three points at home. So 2-1. Two 2-1. One. Two one. Okay, last up then, we go to Middlesbrough versus Rotherham. Rotherham. Still going well. 3 0 against Blackpool in the week. And Middlesbrough, goodness me, 3 2 defeats a card. If I didn't see that coming, it's a bit of a did better pull, performance. Did pull two back at the yeah. end, so it wasn't as bad. The first half was bad, and the <laughs> boos were so loud. The Middlesbrough fans were not happy. They need to win this, Middlesbrough. They need to win this. Mm. I'm not, like, no disrespect to Rotherham because Rotherham have been brilliant so far, but Middlesbrough need to get a move on. Otherwise, Chris Wilder's under serious pressure. Mm. And I don't think they will. I think Rotherham will get in their way and steal a point. 1 1. I think Middlesbrough are going to do it. I think they're going to pick up the three points. I think they've got to, as you said, they've really got to turn it around. I don't know how they're going to do it. But I think Chris Wilder will do it this weekend. I think it's going to be a tight game, though. But 2-1 to Borough. 2-1 to Borough. It could be interesting. That wraps up our predictions, guys. As ever, get your predictions down below. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Do check out Betmate in the link down in the description. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.